Dear all viewers, this time I greet all those who have seen and heard me from the country and abroad. Today I have brought a new video, Pattern Industry Standards. In response to national standards and consumers' needs, the pattern industry established the Measurement Standard Committee, which devised its own standard set of figure types and sizes. The examples below are composites of the pattern industry designated figure types by age and height categories. The measurements are listed on the pattern envelope. Their standards may already be influenced by the American Society for Testing and Materials, ASTM, and Textile Clothing Technology Corps, TC2, USA National Size Survey Measurements. Department Store Standards Department stores and catalog merchants such as Sears, Montgomery Ward, and Spiegel have developed their own strict specifications to satisfy the needs of their customers. Some use or have used National Bureau of Standards measurements. Others conduct surveys and samplings of the population by sending survey forms to their consumers, requesting their measurements. This information is compiled, and specification sheets are given to the manufacturer to use in developing patterns for their consumers. JCPenney, Victoria's Secret, and Jockey now use ASTM TC2 USA National Size Survey for their measurements. Other attempts at standardization. Attempts to standardize sizes in America originally began in the late 1800s, when manufacturers mass-produced farm labor uniforms in small, medium, and large sizes, which proved less than ideal. The next effort was made by the military in its attempt to mass-produce well-fitting uniforms. In 1901, the federal government created the National Bureau of Standards, a non-regulatory agency for the purpose of standardizing measurements. By 1970, NBS had developed a complete size range standard based on frequency measurements from large segments of the population. ASTM Standards The American Society for Testing and Materials partnered with TC2USA National Size Survey for the purpose of standardizing body measurements for better fitting apparel. The research was intensive, measuring 10,000 subjects whose bodies were scanned. 200 points were chosen for accurate body measurements. For additional information or to order size standards. Dear all viewers, this time I greet all those who have seen and heard me from the country and abroad. Today I have brought a new video, figure analysis for personal use or for client. If your figure is less than perfect, remember it's the pattern that must be perfect, not your figure. To begin the process, it will be necessary to assess the unique characteristics of the body being measured. The model should wear a leotard over regularly worn foundation garments for taking measurements. See page 31 for guidance. Make a copy of the personal measurement chart. Each group of figure variations is alphabetized, A through J, and each figure within the group is given a number. Circle the number that applies to your figure, then record it under the appropriate letter on the personal measurement chart. A. Head height, a measuring device for comparison. Measure the length of your head from the top of the crown to chin level. Use the head measurement to mark each head length down from the chin. The blue lines behind the sample models indicate head levels. The broken lines crossing the sample models indicate where the bust point, hip, crotch and knee are in relation to the standard head marks of the perfect model with the blue leotard. Compare your head locations with the model. Record if the locations are above or below head levels at bust, waist, hip, knee, 